Hey, it's Ramonda Contreras in John Hevison. We're here and this is workout number two. This workout is going to consist of things that you can do outdoors for those of you that, you know, don't have the time to go to the gym or the means to go to the gym. So, John, what are we going to do today, pretty much? Basically, we're going to do a circuit that you can do outside. You can actually do it at home if you'd like or even in your backyard. Again, if you don't have a gym membership or you just don't want to go to the gym and you kind of want to enjoy the nice weather. Alrighty, so we're about to get started. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do today is high knees. Basically, what she's going to be doing is trying to get her knees up as high as she can, moving her arms. If she does get tired, then I kind of want you to march it out right here, okay? So 60 seconds of work, and then you got 30 seconds of rest. It's going to be 20 exercises. It's going to equal a 30-minute workout, okay? So let's get started in 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, good, good. Move those arms. Knees up nice and high. Again, you want to try and do it for the whole 60 seconds. If you get tired, then you're just going to kind of march it out. But again, try and get those knees up nice and high. And keep moving, keep working. This is the cardio aspect of it. Ten of the stations are going to be cardio. The other ten are going to be working out your muscle groups. So what we're doing right here is trying to get your heart rate elevated to get your body in a fat burning zone. The next exercise we're going to do is for your core, your abs. Okay, They're called bicycle crunches. Basically what you're going to do here, okay, both feet are up off the ground, your hands are behind your head, and my right elbow comes to my left knee, and then I switch my left elbows to my right knee, and I just keep on moving, okay? <laughs> These ones are pretty tough. Definitely good to start your ab workout off instead of finishing because it's going to be hard to do for the whole 60 seconds, okay? Are you ready? So we're going to get started in five seconds. I'm going to lean back, get those feet up for me. And again, it's going to be, there we go, here to here, okay? And go. Good. Just keep a good pace. Remember, it's 60 seconds. It's a long time. It's going to work your abs up and down, but it also works your obliques because you're twisting. So it really hits the lower abs, hits the upper abs, and it hits those side oblique muscles, okay? It's a pretty difficult exercise. If you need a variation to it, I can show you at the end of this one. She's doing a good job. Just keep moving, keep moving. I'm actually going to have her show you the variation if you can't do the bicycle crunches, okay? So give me these feet, set them down. And so what she's going to do, hands behind your head and right elbow up to left knee, back down. There we go. This is the variation if you can't do the bicycle crunches, okay? Remember to breathe. When you come down, breathe in. When you come up, breathe out and squeeze. Tighten your core every time, okay? Don't worry about rushing it. Make each repetition count. Got about five more seconds here. Okay, good, good, good. Go on, stand up. 30 seconds of rest. Next exercise. We're gonna use the dumbbell on this one and set it down right here in the middle. And basically all she's gonna be doing, you could even have like a jump rope or just a line if it's in your backyard or in your house. But you're gonna be hopping side to side. You can either do it fast, hop over it, or slow. Okay, hop, hop. You can even use your arms, explode up. Okay, just keep a good pace and you just want to keep moving, okay? Anytime that you get tired on the cardio aspect, just slow your pace down. So probably just four, three, two, Good hop side to side. There we go, there we go. So the next exercise that we're gonna do is push-ups. Regular push-ups look like this. All the way down, all the way back up. Now, if you can't do push-ups off your feet, you're gonna 
go on your knees, okay? And, but I still want you to try and come all the way down and then all the way back up. And if you get tired on this one, just hold yourself up. That way you still work out your triceps and then your shoulder muscle, okay? Just keep a good pace. Don't try and rush and fly through it. Just really work that upper body, your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps. Go and start us off all the way down, all the way up. Beautiful. So real push-ups right there. That's three, four. Go and give me one more. Five, and then knees down. Now, and down. Nice. Good, good, good. See, it's good. That's exactly what you want to do. Nice and low. Works your chest. Works your shoulders, and then works the back part of your arm, your tricep. Okay. Good, good, good. Just keep a good pace, take your time. If you have to rest, rest up top, okay? It's still gonna work your shoulders, it's still gonna work your triceps even though you're holding your weight up, okay? Last one. Nice, end up, 30 seconds of rest. So the next one we're going to do is to work your calf muscles, okay? So, feet are going to be straight, you're going to tippy toe up nice and high, all the way up, all the way down. Then I want you to point your toes inward, all the way up, all the way down, ten times. And then point them outward, all the way up, all the way down like a ballerina, okay? It's ten, ten, and ten. Take your time, go all the way up, all the way down. If you do finish within the 60 seconds, just start over, okay? These ones you don't really want to rush. You want to take your time. You want to tippy toe up nice and high. Come all the way up. Come all the way down. Okay? Don't rush through it. Most time when people rush through it, they do little baby calf raises, and you don't really fully work your calf muscle. So it's ten times with your uh, toes pointed straight. Then we got ten times with our toes pointed inward. After she finishes this 10, she's going to do 10 with her po toes pointed outward. The reason why we're doing it with our toes straight in and then out is it works your calf muscle all the way around. So instead of just kind of going straight up and down, it gets different angles and works from this side all the way over to the other side, okay? And 10, nice. Got rest in the next exercise. It's the back part of your muscle. You're gonna use the dumbbell, okay? And you can have a five pound dumbbell up to a 10 pound. Remember, it's gonna be 60 seconds, so I want you to keep a good pace. But what you're gonna do, all the way up, all the way down. I'm gonna show you the grip on this one really quickly. With the dumbbell, kind of grab it right here. Other hands right here, okay? And basically, again, all the way down, all the way up, okay? When you come down, breathe in. When you push up, breathe out. Just keep a good pace. It's 60 seconds. You're probably going to get like 25 to 30 repetitions in here. You should definitely feel a burn in the back part of your arm, your tricep. If you don't, the weight's too light. So make it a little heavier, okay? exercise right here if you don't have somebody to grab onto she's gonna be holding on to my ankles if you don't have that you can always hold on to underneath your couch a bench a chair just something solid enough to kind of hold on to because what she's gonna be doing is kicking her legs up and then I'm gonna 
push them. But again, if you don't have somebody to push them, you're just going to kick your legs up, bring them back down, kick your legs up, bring them back down, okay? So we're going to get started right now with the 60 seconds. If you do have somebody helping you, you're holding on to their ankles and they're pushing your legs, Another cool variation you could do with this exercise is you could go at different angles to work the obliques. So I'm going to push her legs this way, she's going to bring it back. Then I'm going to push it straight, then I'm going to push them this way. Then she's going to bring it back. What that does is works her oblique muscles. It's a little bit more advanced, a little bit more difficult. If you really want to get these side obliques, the love handles, stuff like that, that's what you're going to go for, okay? That's if you have somebody to help you out, to go ahead and throw your legs from side to side, okay? <laughs> this way. There you go, a couple more, a couple more. Time's almost up. Last one, okay? Nice. We'll be using the dumbbells again. This one right here. These are dumbbell rows. This is an exercise for your back. I'll show you two different angles. Kind of bend your knees, let your arms kind of hang straight. You're gonna look up, okay? You want your shoulders back a little bit because you're gonna pull your elbows through and squeeze, okay? Right here. So, so you kind of see it from a different angle. Again, my knees are gonna be slightly bent. My hands drop down, my butt's kind of out, okay? And I pull my elbows through and I squeeze my shoulder blades together, okay? All right, here we go. Yep, knees slightly bent. Lean forward, arms hang straight. There we go. Good. Pull up. There we go. Arms straight down. Good, and then pull up. Nice. your shoulder blades up at the top. Works your whole upper back. She's really going to start feeling it every time she pulls and squeezes her shoulder blades together. You can almost think if there's like a pencil or something in between your shoulder blades and you're trying to break it. Really squeeze that, okay? Oh yeah, she's doing a good job. Squeeze, pull straight through. There we go. Keep moving, keep moving. One more rep. There we go. Nice. Set those down. And what we're going to do here is an exercise to kind of target and work your hip area. So you're going to hold on right here. Keep your legs straight. Kick them up nice and high. Okay. After a while, you're going to start feeling this squeezing and burning. Okay. One more on each side. Okay, okay. Back curls. Hands straight. What we're going to do all the way up, all the way down, okay? All the way up, all the way down. When you come down, breathe in. When you come up, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, make sure you come all the way down. Sometimes people come all the way up and then they kind of stop right here. All the way up, all the way down, all right? Good, just like that. Remember to breathe. Breathe 
Breathe in, come up, breathe out. If you ever want to make it a little bit more difficult, you could alternate, okay? So this is a regular bicep curl with the dumbbells, but when she comes down, she can twist her hands straight into hammer curls. So come all the way up, all the way down, then twist again, all the way up, all the way down, twist again. Always twist at the bottom, okay? So this is alternating dumbbell curls from regular bicep curls to hammer curls, okay? One more each. All the way down, twist, all the way up, and down. Regular squats, okay? Use your hands for balance if you need to. Squat down, squat back up. Kind of see what my butt's doing. Squatting down, squatting back up. I'm just using my hands for balance. If you want to make it more challenging, you can do a squat hop. Squat down and jump. Even touch the ground and jump, okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah, here we go. And jump. Two, three, four, five, six, nice. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, and ten. Good. So now take your time. Just good squats, good squats. If you can't do squat hops, just regular squats. If you can't go down that low, it's okay, work your way up, slowly go down as far as you can, come back up, your legs are gonna get stronger, and you'll be able to sit your butt down. Another thing, with your heels, your heels shouldn't be coming up off the ground. If they are, you're not doing your squats right. You actually wanna drive through with your heels when you sit your butt down, you push up, okay? So my heels shouldn't be coming off the ground like that. So we're gonna do another exercise with the dumbbells. This is a military press. My hands are going to be right here. I push straight up to the sky. Come back down. Keep your abs tight. You got to control the dumbbells, okay? To go straight up and then straight down. It's going to work your shoulders and the back part of your arm, your triceps. This one you really want to take your time. Keep your abs tight. Control it. This is going to be kind of heavy. So I'm going to be behind you to spot you, okay? So just take your time. Good, good, good. Right here. Nice. When you come down, breathe in. When you push up, breathe out. Keep your abs tight. Nice and slow motion. You want to control the dumbbells. You don't want the dumbbells to control you. Two more, two more good ones. Here we go. One, last one, two, good. Set those dumbbells down. So now what we're gonna do are jumping jacks. It's right here, regular jumping jacks. And again, if you get tired, you can't do the jumping jacks for the whole 60 seconds, one minute, march it out, okay? Catch your breath and then try and go back to jumping jacks. Good, just keep a good pace.
remember this is the cardio aspect. The point of this is to get your heart rate elevated, to get your body in a fat burning zone. So you really want to push it on this part to burn that fat, lose that weight, okay? We've got five more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, so this exercise right here is going to work your core, but mainly it's going to work your shoulders and your triceps. If you have like a mat at your house or a carpet, if you're working inside or outside, you kind of want to at least be on some grass for this one because we're going to push up position and I'm going to come down on my forearm, come down on my other forearm, then I'm going to push up, push up, okay? So it's down, down, up, and up. If you get tired, hold on. You got to do the easier version. Do it from your knees, okay? Down to your forearm. Down, down, down. Push up. Push up. Down, down, up. Up, up. Down, down. Nice, nice. These ones are really hard, but it's really good for upper body strength. Good, good. You got five more seconds. Five more seconds. Down, up, up, down, down, up, up, hold to the top, hold to the top. So again, if you get tired, just try and hold yourself up. Still going to work out your shoulders, still going to work out your triceps, and it's working out your core at the same time. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, we're going to use the dumbbell again, and we're going to do another core exercise with this one right here. I'm going to hold on to the dumbbell, both hands, my feet are up off the ground. I'm twisting, okay, twist, twist, almost as if you're trying to touch here and then touch here, okay, twist, 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 you can't keep your feet off the ground, feet down and twist, twist, okay, a little easier that way, that's good, twist and twist, nice, nice. taking your feet up off the ground, just making you use your core even more. I mean, obviously with the dumbbell, we're twisting. That's working our abs. But by having your feet off the ground, you have to balance and use your core to keep your whole body from not falling and tipping over, okay? 10 more seconds, last 10 seconds. Lunges. I'm gonna have you do stationary lunges. If you have enough space and room, you could do walking lunges where you just alternate and switch. But what we're gonna do here are stationary lunges. So I'm gonna have you do five on each side, continue until the minute's up. So what you wanna do here is left foot forward. My right knee drops straight down, okay? My body's straight. I don't wanna lean forward, so I'm gonna show you from this angle as well. So if left foot forward, right knee drops straight down. I don't want to lean forward and have my right knee come above or in front of my left toe, okay? So what you're going to do is five, so one, two, all the way up, all the way down five times, and then we're going to switch sides. Now my right foot's forward, left foot's back, the left knee drops straight down, okay? Just take your time, so left foot forward. Nice and slow, take your time, have that right knee drop straight down. Five times. Nice, one more. Other way. Right foot forward, right foot forward. Drop that left knee straight down. Good. Nice. 
last one. Right. Almost done, almost done. Do the dumbbells one more time. So this is like a full body movement right here. It's gonna work your legs, it's gonna work your arms and your shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, come up, and I want you to curl the dumbbells, twist it straight, and then press to the sky. Come down, start all over. Squat down, stand up, curl it, twist, and press, okay? So squat down, stand up, curl it, twist and press, come down, down, and squat. Curl all the way up nice and high. Now twist and press. Curl, twist, press, and squat down. Try and squat down right here. Try not to lean too forward. Don't let the dumbbells kind of take control of you. And Pull your weight forward, okay? <laughs> Curl, twist, and press. Nice. Twist, press. Nice. Good, that was a good squat right there. Curl, twist, press. Two more good ones, two more good ones. Last one right here. And squat, curl, twist, and press. Nice. Next exercise we're gonna do is plank. So, this one works out your core. Be down on your forearms. Want your butt down, your back straight. Keep your abs nice and tight, and you're just gonna hold it. If you ever wanna make it more advanced, you put your right foot in the air, hold it for like 10 seconds. Put your left foot in the air, hold it for 10 seconds. If you want to make it a little easier, spread your feet out, okay? Harder, bring them in, really hard, really hard, okay? Good, perfect, perfect. Just like that, you want your butt down, your back straight. Keep your abs nice and tight. doing this, you can put a weight on your back to really make it hard. Good. Keep those abs tight. Remember to breathe. Almost done. You got 10 seconds left. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so basically what she's gonna do right here is another cardio exercise. She's gonna be sprinting or jogging from dumbbell to dumbbell. She's gonna be jogging. She's gonna touch down and then jog to the other side and touch down, okay? Back and forth, you can do it as fast as you'd like. Obviously, the faster you are, the harder it's gonna be. Get your heart rate elevated, get your body in that fat burning zone, okay? Here we go. exercise and she's all done, huh? Keep a good pace, almost done, almost done. Touch that dumbbell and come back and you're done. There we go, there we go. Nice, nice. So last exercise, 
this one's really hard, okay? So all you're gonna do is five, five up downs, okay? Take your time. Kick it back. Kick him in. Stand up and jump. Reach up high too. Jump up nice and high. There's one. Four more. Four more and you're done. Just five of these. These are tough. Kick them back. Kick them in. Stand up and jump. Nice. Try and reach to the sky. Get up nice and high. Jump. Good, good. This is number four. And then we got number five. Jump. All right. And she's done. She completed that workout.